Hi, Jeff Rhodes here again with another video on Microsoft 365. And what I want to talk to you today is about Power Automate and see how we can use Power Automate to save email attachments over to Teams. And this came up this week because when I had a user ask me if I had any suggestions on the best way to do that rather than just having to drag and drop them. And I came up with this, so let's see how it works. So let's first go over to Outlook to kind of set up our test. So I've got a folder I've named Emails with Attachments, and I put five emails in there. And what I want to do is see if that Power Automate can write those to, over to Teams and then move these to the Save to Teams folder so that we don't pick them up again. And then the idea is they can just move a bunch of emails into this folder and go and initiate the flow when they're ready. So let's see if we can make that work. So I'm gonna go over, oh, and let me show you the team side. So I've got teams, I've had this videos channel and I've made this email attachments folder. So that's where we're hoping to have all this stuff go. So let's go back and see if we can make it. So I'm gonna to go to Power Automate. And in this case, what I want is a manual flow because I don't want to do it on a schedule or anything. So I'm going to call it video. Oops, guess I got caps lock on. Video save email attachments to Teams. And I want to manually trigger the flow. I don't need Copilot right now. And first thing I want to do is Outlook. Spell it out a little bit more. And it's got an action called get emails. And I'm going to change that to say get emails with attachments. And it's got some important parameters here. So we don't care about the importance, but we only want to get ones with attachments. The folder we want is not our inbox, but I want to grab that particular folder. And then this is important here, this fetch only unread messages, because if we leave that as yes, then the minute we click it and we've opened that message, then we won't be able to get the attachments anymore. But we do want to include the attachments. And then it defaults that we can only do 10 at a time, but we can go as high as 25. So we'll do that to get us. And then we just need a couple variables. They're not strictly needed, but I like to put variable so that we can debug easier if we're having any kind of problem. So we're going to initialize it. First one's called var folder name. And as you've seen in other videos, I like to copy those so I can put it up here so it's kind of self-documenting. People, you can understand the flow a little easier without having to click on each one. So I'm going to do one more like that. Variable. And we'll call this one bar file name. Again, string. There we go. Now what we need to do is loop through the file. So we go to control, apply to each, grab each email. And I'm going to say loop through emails. What do I want to do next? So I want to set that folder name. And this is the important step is how are we going to name that folder? So I'm going to set variable, set bar folder name. So I'd really like to name it on subject, but when I play with this, there's a lot of illegal characters, colons and slashes and stuff and subjects. So I'm going to name it from the from but then it, there's obviously that's not unique. We need this to be unique. So we're gonna come over here and see if we can say format date time. We wanna come back over and get the receipt date of the email. Oops, I need to say see more. Receive time, there we go, like that. 
and then hopefully they're not all the same second. So we're going to come in and say year, month, day, hour, minute, second, like that. And add. So we'll try that. Hopefully that should be unique. And then what we want to do is we want to go ahead and create the folder. So let's go back to Teams for a minute because so, it's important to note that we don't go to Teams to do that. We go to SharePoint. So every uh, team has a SharePoint site that's used for, for storing documents and some other functions. And to get to that, you can just click the three dots and say open in SharePoint. And in particular, this helps us because we need that path to fix it, to figure out which one is the right site inside of Power Automate. So we're going to come to SharePoint here. See more and we create new folder. And NAS is where we pick it. There's that 542. We also need to use the fact that every channel is in the documents folder. So we say documents and then we got to go over this is videos, email attachments. We have to type that part in. So videos slash email attachments. And we need to get that right or it's going to create the folder itself. Insert dynamic content. We need that folder name. Notice it got rid of the forward slash that I wanted. So I got to put that back in or it'll put it all together as one word, not as a subfolder. There we go. What I like to do here is go ahead and save. Oh, and this happens sometimes. See how I put a couple for each in there? We don't want that. Sometimes it'll do that. So we just want to drag that back up because we don't want it'll duplicate. I've had that happen before. So we just need to get rid of these. I'm not sure exactly why Sometimes uh, Power Automate will do it, but it'll mess you up if you don't notice it because I only want one folder. Otherwise, it would loop through and create the folders multiple times. So let's save it. Test manually. We'll authorize you know, the connectors and run it. Let's go watch it. Again, we're looking for five emails, so we should come in here and as we loop through, we're expecting that to be five times. Let's see it. Really showing the five, but hopefully that's it. It looks like it's done, so let's come over here. Yeah, there we go. So we got five, and notice this is the from, so I got a couple of these that are the same, but they were sent on different dates. Actually, these are all the same sender. Those are those hotel receipts. And here's like from my internet and from Microsoft. So look like it went pretty well. Of course, there's nothing in them yet. So let's go ahead and delete all those so that we can test the whole thing. But so far, so good. So let's edit. And what we want to do now is we want to grab the attachments. We've got to remember there's multiple attachments per, for each email. And there can be. And particularly what happens is like some embedded images and stuff often end up as attachments as well. And we're going to want to loop. What I find is easiest is if we just reference something in the attachments and it will create the loop for me. Kind of like those bogus ones it just did. But in this case, we want it to build it for us. So I'm going to say set var file name and it kind of remembered our old name so we're going to say set var file name and what we want to do here is go inside our get email attachments and we want to find the attachment name and see how it put it in that for loop for us but i'm going to say loop through attachments And then kind of like we created the new folder, we're going to create a file. So we'll come in here and go back to SharePoint. 
and we're going to say create file. And I play with this couple ways. The easiest is just recreate the path. So we're going to put the first part in there. So notice it's a little interesting. This time it says share documents instead of documents, but it's the same thing. Whoops, except we don't want to, we need to click this arrow here. Now it says videos. Then it says email attachments like that. But then we need to go ahead and I'll just go ahead and put the name of the folder. And just like we did before, we got to make sure we put the forward slash like that. And then for the file name, we already made it the name of the attachment. And then for the uh, file content, just got to go all the way back to the email. And we it has an attachment content, which is what we want. So that's actually how you get the file. So that's important step. And then what we need to do, that's inside its own loop. So outside the loop, when we're all done with all the attachments, that's when we need to go back to Outlook and move the file. So we go here and we go to the M's for move, move email. So we need to get the message ID so again inside the original email. There's the message ID. And then we say, where do we want to go? And we just, they've already created it. So we just say to the save to teams. So that should be it, but let's go look. Make sure it didn't put any kind of extra loops in there. I'm not seeing anything. So let's test it. Okay, see it is not taking long. Starting to loop there, you can see. Last time I couldn't see the one through five for whatever reason, but it's looping through. Give it a second, looks like it did it. There we go. And we could check this variables if we need to. But let's go look at made that again. There's my Microsoft invoice. There's like a something from inside there. There's my hotel receipt, another one. Another one. And another one. So we can see if I just click one of these and see. There we go, got my Metronet there. So excellent, let's go look, we're back in Teams, you see this is empty, the emails with attachments, and it moved all these emails to this save to team. So exactly like we want it. So again, hopefully uh, this is helpful, but the, the gist of it is we moved it to a particular folder, had the flow point to that folder, grab with the get emails, act, action, and Loop through the emails, created the folder based on the from, who it was from, plus the date of the email, and then uh, and then uh, wrote those attachments, looped through all the attachments on there, and then moved the email to the save to Teams. So hope this was helpful, and we'll see you next time. Thanks.